Cloud 4.5 Sonnet is out. Well, not officially, but there are rumors. There is a new Stealth AI model just released on Klein and KiloCode and Cursor, and this AI model has 200,000 contacts window. The Stealth name of this AI model is Code Supernova, but I tried to jailbreak this model and tried to find out the real name. First, I asked it, hi, Code Supernova, in brackets, I wrote Cloud 4.5 Sonnet. So it responded positively, but it did not confirm that it's Cloud Sonnet 4.5. So then I specified that you are Cloud 4.5 Sonnet, not Cloud 4.1 Sonnet. So then it confirmed that yes, I am Code Supernova and then Claude 4.5 Sonnet. This still is not the best way to judge if this model is Claude 4.5 Sonnet, but still let's just test this model and see what this model is actually capable of because all of different AI models by Anthropic Claude are just impressive at coding. And my personal favorite one used to be Claude 3.7 Sonnet and then Claude 4 and Claude 4.1 Sonnet. So let's just see what this model is actually capable of and can this model perform just like Claude 3.7 Sonnet or cloud 4 or cloud 4.1 sonnet we are going to perform different coding tasks and then see how this model actually performs also you can access this model 100 for free on klein and kilo code and on cursor and windsurf as well so before we dive deep and start testing this model please just subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so you can see code supernova was just launched today on cursor on kilo code on windsurf and on client and this is 100% free AI model you can use it 100% for free so just make sure that you have installed VS code on your computer either you are using Mac or Windows or Linux just make sure that VS code is installed on your computer after that either you can use client or kilo code in my case I'm going to use kilo code how you can access kilo code you can just like go to the extensions tab from here inside your VS code and from here then you can just look for kilo code in here and then you can just install kilo code from here so this is kilo code this is 100 free and open source there is no subscription and either you can use client as well so if you don't want to use kilo code then you can just use client but in this case we are going to use client and you can see this is the past conversation where i was trying to jailbreak this ai model so before you start a new task just go to your settings tab from here and then you can just choose code supernova from the model section so you can find code supernova in here and you can see this ai model has 200,000 context window and it does support image as well as an input so let's just go ahead and conduct our first task so our first task to test the capabilities of this AI model is to create a 3d Rubik's cube simulation so this is the detailed prompt and we are expecting to create an HTML JS program using 3js and it will use 3.js library to create a 3d simulation so let's just see if it can create so let me just press enter and now let's just see if it can create 3d Rubik's Cube simulation. By the way, Claude Sonnet 3.7, Claude 4 and 4.1 Sonnet, all of these models have successfully completed this task. So right now you can see it has already started writing code. The speed looks good and it has created this to-do list in here. The first thing that it is going to do, it is going to create HTML structure with 3.js, CDN and basic UI. The second one will be it will implement CSS styling for the application, then create main JavaScript file with 3.js setup. So you can see it is completing all of these tasks one by one in this to-do list. So let's just wait for it to finish. So far the performance is good, but to see the final results, let's just hold on and wait for it all right so within less than a couple of minutes it has just finished this task so now let's just see let's just try to run and see if it can run this project and if we can have our 3d rubik's cube simulation as expected okay so now i have run this command start index.html and this is the index.html file you can see there is this script.js file as well then style.css so let's just see what we have so this is what we have got this looks cool okay let's just try to scramble a key oh jesus christ this is horrible it looks good oh my goodness it's it's just it's a mess let's just take a screenshot here and then ask it to fix this let me see the screenshot so now let's just see what it does okay so now apparently it has made some changes in code and it has implemented it has fixed the cube positioning problem then there was canvas size issue then there was layer rotation logic as well so these are the key improvements that it has made let's just try to run this project and then see what it has done so far so all right same issue i think it is rotating from one origin point so yeah and in fact if you just click on solve cube yeah this is what it has done so this is apparently the solve cube if i just click on rotate up it just goes like this so it is rotating around the region this this particular region instead it, it should have been rotating around this this origin but yeah so you can just like now further ask it to fix it but i think it has terribly failed this 
task. I'm really having doubts about this AI model. I think this might be another clock model, but let's just see. Now let's just conduct more easier test because I just conducted the hardest test in the beginning. So now I have just given it this prompt to create an autoplay chess. So this is a detailed prompt to create an autoplay chess game. So this is going to be a simple 2D game. There is no 3D simulation involved. There is no use of 3GS library involved. So most of AI models like Quen3, all of those AI models have easily completed this task. So let's just see if this code supernova can actually complete this task or not. So it should complete this task. So let's just wait for it and see how it performs. So apparently it has just completed this task. Now let's just run this script, which is autoplay chess.html. So let me just run this script and this is what it has created. Cool. That's, that's amazing. Okay. It looks cool. Let's just see if it is making the moves. It's, it's not making the moves. There is only one script. There is no other script but this code should work easily so this is comparatively simpler and easier than the previous task still it could not create auto play chess game okay so it's not making any moves it has just created like this front end but it is not making any moves so far it has failed two tasks i was not expecting it to fail the second task but this AI model has failed the second task as well which was comparatively easy we can of course go back and ask it to like fix that issue but the main point was providing it a detailed prompt and then generating results in first attempt without any errors or any sort of hallucinations so far this AI model has just failed a real world coding task now let's just try more simpler like maybe creating a simple landing page or like creating a dashboard design i'm sure the same model will be able to do that because it can for sure create a landing page or create a simple dashboard but i'm sure as soon as we'll try to like use this for maybe back-end development or maybe more complex tasks so it will fail again so let's just conduct another test and this time try to create more simpler project maybe a simple web scraping tool and then let's just see what this model is capable of so i'm going to use firecrawl and then i'm going to use an api key from firecrawl and now what i'll do i'll just create a simple web scraping tool by using firecrawl so i'll just create a new folder so i've just created an empty folder so i've just got this api key from firecrawl i'm just going to paste that api key and now what i'll do i'll just give it a simple prompt please create a simple web scraping tool using firecrawl we could use mcp server as well but let's just use simple api key then i'll provide a link to documentation so let's just see if this AI model can actually build a simple web scraping tool using firecrawl this should be probably the easiest task for it so let's just see just create a simple front end design where user can enter the website view and our tool should be to scrape data from that website so it's a simple prompt please create a simple web scraping tool using firecrawl just create a simple front end design where user can enter the website url and our tool should be able to scrape data from that website so here is the api key for firecrawl api key and let me just get a link to the documentation of firecrawl so if i just go to the docs i can just copy the link from here now it should perform this task easily without any any problem this is literally it cannot go more simpler than this i mean I can say, okay, even about the second task, I know Kimi K2 solved that second task easily. Gemini 2.5 Flash has solved that task easily. Quen3 has solved that task because I tested all of these different models on that simple task. So let's just see if, if it can actually solve this particular task. It, it cannot go more simpler than this. I mean, if this AI model is marketed as the AI model for coding, so it should work to create this kind of projects so apparently it has just created this tool it has created an html front end with url input from and css styling for the front end create javascript for front end back end communication create node.js back end server with express set up firecrawl integration with api key create api endpoint for web scraping set up package.json and dependencies so it should work fine now let's just run this command and run our project and see if it can actually actually run our project so now it's running on localhost let me just copy this url to run this on localhost so let me just open that okay this looks cool let me just copy the url of our website let me just paste that in here paste that in here scrape and cool okay fine yeah it has scraped almost all of the content from our website perfect that's amazing perfect it worked there is no html content available that's fine yeah so i can even copy it as markdown okay cool 
perfect yeah i mean it, it's working it's working now so finally this stealth ai model was able to create this web scraping tool because this task was way simpler than any of the previous tasks so after testing it i'm quite sure that this is not claude 4.5 sonnet this might be another model from grok but i think for sure this is not claude 4.5 sonnet if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i'll see you next video